Seasons and stations have changed for Virginia men's soccer. After adding a seventh star to the crest with an unlikely championship in 2014, the Cavaliers are the hunted once again. It's nothing new for George Gelnovach and his team, but nonetheless an added challenge in the treacherous landscape that is NCAA men's soccer. You know, I've dealt with it before as a head coach, you know, 2000, after the 2009 championship. In 2013, we weren't national champs, but we were a college cup team. It's about just business as usual. You, you celebrate the, the win, the, the national championship, and you, you do all have the nice functions and the ring ceremony and, and all those things that go along with it, but then it's back to business. And I think that the more you conduct business as usual, you know, once you get those nice things past you, uh, and that's spring preparation, preseason preparation, recruiting, all the hard work that uh, our staff does, uh, and just quickly go back to business as usual. And our business as usual is, is pretty good. The quicker you go back to that in the, in the culture of your team, uh, I think just the steadier and easier it is to deal with teams that are coming after you uh, when you start the season. The Virginia soccer culture remains a constant, one that veteran leaders like Todd Wharton, Scott Thompson, Sheldon Sullivan, Nico Corvo, and keeper Jeff Caldwell must impress upon one of the nation's top recruiting classes. The ability of the talented newcomers to both integrate into the team structure and adapt when necessary will go a long way in determining the success of the 2015 season. Your culture of your team and everything is a, and the formation and the tactics and the strategy and all that stuff, it's a living, breathing thing, uh, for me anyway. I, I'm not locked into any one formation or any super philosophy that we just defend all the time or we just attack all the time. Sometimes it takes us a little bit to figure out what we're good at, what we're not good at, you know, like last season, to be honest with you. And we're in that process a little bit now. Friday night against Duke, we created seven chances that on just an average night you score four. That was a shootout that game. I was back and forth, back and forth. Now. If that were an ACC tournament game or an NCAA playoff game, I don't know if I would have played it like that. But I need to see what we're capable of doing you know, in the attack. And that's really coming from, you mentioned Pablo, you mentioned Nico, Riggs Lennon, Edward Apoku, and, uh, and John Kofi. Those guys were really dynamic and really on, especially on the counter or on the break. Tuesday night against George Mason, it was a little bit different. So it, it wasn't a counter game where we were back a little bit and try to catch them on the break. It was more us having the ball, possessing the ball, and trying to spread them out and push them back. So it was a different way. And we're working at both. So far, I would say, compared to this time last year, we we're ahead of the game in, ta in terms of the attacking piece of things. Tuesday's matchup with in-state foe JMU brought another test of the team's ability to adapt. Shaking off a sluggish start, the Cavaliers began to press forward against the Dukes, utilizing attack-minded freshman back Malcolm Dixon and the fleet-footed Edward Apuku. The Cavaliers struck first, scoring on a 38-minute corner. Staked to a one-goal lead, the Cavalier defense shifted into the spotlight, shutting down the visitors from Harrisonburg and adding some insurance when a streaking Jean-Christophe Kofi collected a riggs lennon long ball and tapped home UVA's second goal of the night. The performance showcased not only the quick strike ability of the Virginia attack, but a burgeoning chemistry of the defensive back line. While questions remain for this unbeaten Cavalier squad entering ACC play, George Gelnovach hopes reliance on the program's identity will provide the necessary answers. Duke is significantly better than they have been. It might be the toughest team we've played so far. The UNC's undefeated right now, and we're undefeated right now, so for this time of year, there's already a showing that the conference, which is always good, is going to be probably stronger than it has been in, you know, three or four years. You know, obviously you have to have a direction going from the preseason into the season, but be adaptable and be ready to implement it. And I think the more you are adaptable and kind of put those tactics to your team, the more that they're around you, they're ready to adapt. So you know, the more you're in the program and, and know that you know, at the end of the season, the middle of the season, or a particular game that we have to adapt, and you've been with us for a while, it, it's, it's second nature. 